Blood, scarlet blood everywhere, the whole field is painted with blood, everything he sees is bloody. The once green mountain is now completely covered in blood. Its very nature was destroyed in one day, all that is left here now is death. Why was all this blood shed? What were they all fighting for? He himself is missing an arm and the plum blossom sword pierced his body. Sion, the eldest student who entered the monastic path earlier than the rest, lies defeated. Sage, a young student who entered the monastic path, is dead. The last suicide squad consists of representatives of the elite of the Murim world, all the best and strongest disciples of Huashan, who have sworn to protect this place. However, we couldn't go back. Who is to blame for everything? The main culprit of this massacre is a demon descended from heaven. The founder of Maya, whose demonic followers painted the world bloody, is Kianma. Suddenly the demon spoke to him. Huashan school is one of the great schools of Murim, what a pity, follower of Huashan. If you got out of here alive, you could enjoy the triumphant victory for the rest of your life. But it seems, the demon continued, that the end has come for you and me. You can be proud of yourself, thanks to the incredible help of these people, your sword still overtook me. In the name of Chinma, I acknowledge that your art of swordsmanship, follower of Huashan, is the greatest of all. What a pity! If I had four more days, I would have revealed my true essence, which corresponds to the name Chanma, but this must be my fate. Remember follower of Huashan. It's not over yet. The demon will return again when this happens the whole world will humbly bow before the demon. And no one can stop it. When I return, my power will be limitless, and you, along with the rest of the defenders, will remain here forever. The heavenly demon was dying, he could not survive the destruction of his body, but the defender of Huashan also felt the approach of inevitable death. What will happen to the Huashan school now that the bones of all the Huashan followers are now buried in this place, young and old? Everyone died. Only weak children survived. Were these sacrifices meaningless? Is all this really meaningless? These were the last thoughts of the thirteenth disciple of the great Huashan school, one of the three greatest swordsmen in the world of the noble plum blossom blade, Chong Myung. After killing the heavenly demon that plunged the whole world into chaos, he plunged into eternal sleep on the top of a mountain made of the heads of one thousand demons. Memories of the past, images of his childhood at Huashan school floated through Chong Myung's fading mind. Understanding that in reality he was just a narcissistic fool who received undeserved praise for his outstanding innate talent. And the understanding that if he had taken his training more seriously, perhaps he could have changed this terrible end. The soft voice of his mentor told him that he should not regret it and that no matter what happens, the Huashan school will continue to exist. And this is not the end of the story, this is just the beginning. Why are you snoring here, poor rabble, everyone else has gone to beg, and are you just falling apart here? Such words woke up Myung. He didn't a Euro T understand where he was and what was happening, what kind of ragamuffin was threatening him now. He is the noble sword of the plum blossom, Chion Myung. And some ragamuffin swings a club at him. Now he's going to teach this guy a lesson in good manners and block this blow with his baton. But why did his arms become so short? How can they be so short he can't block the blow? Meanwhile, blows with a baton rained down on Myung from all sides, and he did not have time to react to more than one. Having received his share of blows, Myung went to the lake to wash himself. He continued to be amazed at what was happening to him. However, who is this little guy in the reflection? What the hell is going on here? Is this what reincarnation is? Myung was approached by one of the boys who saw him being beaten and said that their leader was always crazy, but today something completely went wrong. Xion Myung had many questions that he wanted to ask the boy, but he decided to ask only two questions. First question, am I a beggar? This question worried him very much and the answer was disappointing, of course, just look at your clothes. This horrified the thirteenth disciple of the great Huashan school. And he asked the second question in a trembling voice. Do you know, boy, who Kianma is? Of course the boy answers. I know who Kianma is. Demon founder of Meijo who died 100 years ago. 
Has it really been 100 years since his death? 100 years? Jun Myung can't believe it. This is some kind of madness, Jun Myung thinks. 100 years have passed. Then why wasn't Euro T I reborn immediately after death, as if in the whole world I was left completely alone? Why is everything so confusing? What happened to Hua Shan? What is Hua Shan the boy asks Chan. Hua Shan is one of the greatest martial arts schools. How can you not know it? We have nine great martial arts schools Shaolin, Gabong and others, but Hua Shan is not among them. These words made Jun Myung confused. Nine martial arts schools do not have Hua Shan. And then the boy remembered that the Hua Shan school had long been destroyed, it was located on the territory of Shanxi province, but now there is nothing there. After such words, he decides to go to Mount Hua Shan and find a school. But first he wants to find out his current name and get to know his interlocutor. He replies that his name is now Zhang Sam, and the boy a Euro's name is Gu Chiel. Their leader is called John Pal and he often beats them with a stick. And so Chan rushed to save his native Hua Shan school. However, now his body is the body of a child, he has only run a little and is already exhausted. He feels that he will die on the way before he has time to take even one glance at the province of Shanshur. How to get there? And a brilliant plan appears in the scientist a Euro's head, he needs to gain physical training for martial arts. The martial techniques of the Hua Shan school are stored in his head. He knows a dozen different breathing techniques and from them he decided to master the principle of six interactions. Every newcomer who entered Hua Shan began his journey with the technique of six interactions, this technique completely cleansed his body. A tower of abilities that has to be built, that it must become beautiful in its greatness, it is necessary to cleanse the energy of this body that it now has. And he succeeded, it was not for nothing that he was one of the most capable students of his school. But still, Chan was only a child and therefore it was very difficult for him to get to the province. Although with his training he was able to become a little stronger than an ordinary person. Having reached the nearest town with difficulty, Chan was very hungry. He had no choice but to ask for alms again, but the local beggars were unhappy that he was asking for mercy without permission. They wanted to take away everything that people had given him and teach him a lesson so that he would leave the city. Jun Myung waved his arms and legs several times, getting used to his body. While the beggars attacked him with all the strength of grown men. At that moment, Jun Myung rushed forward and hit the first beggar who ran up to him in the face. I am the noble plum blossom blade of the great Hua Shan school, shouted Zhong Myung. And the beggars realized that this boy was too tough for them and quickly ran away. And so Chong Myung, after a long difficult hike, reached Mount Hua Shan. Endless rocks stretched out before him. This mountain was so high that the clouds barely reached half of it. He was sure that his life was in danger on these rocks, his hands and legs were shaking. Finally he reached the top of the mountain and he saw the entrance to the great school, but it was abandoned and destroyed. And suddenly a voice full of warmth and participation asked, Wo your OS here? And this gave young Myung strength. The monk who opened the door for him was surprised how such a small child could be here alone. But he invited the boy to come in because although at present they do not accept strangers, the nights are cold now and it is not good to leave those who came to Hua Shan on the streets. When Chan entered, he saw traces of desolation. The training ground was covered with dirt and the blue jasper covering disappeared. The Golden Palace used to be located on this deserted place, but the monk said that it was a very long time ago and this is just a memory of past glory. The Jade Palace was in place to Young Myung's delight. When Chong Myung entered the Jade Palace, he saw that changes had taken place here too, the paintings and the golden candlestick had disappeared. And most importantly, the white metal plum blossom disappeared, the main Hua Shan relic, which carries the pure waters of Hua Shan. The monk said that the merchants gave a good sum for the flower and they sold it because it was of no use anywhere and did not fit into the interior. Zhang Wu was sad to see this desolation and begs the monk to allow him to meet the abbot and enroll in the Hua Shan school. The abbot agrees to admit an unknown beggar boy to school. Don't a Eurotin drive away the bird that took refuge from the rain under the roof and share food with the beast that came into the cave on a frosty night, the abbot says, we don't a Eurotin have anything precious to drive away the boy. 
Zhongmian receives a third-generation student uniform with the Huashan School logo and goes to inspect the rest of the rooms, in which a not very warm welcome awaits him. Some boy shouted at him loudly. All the school students ran out to the noise and loudly asked the boy whose name was Zhou Jiuel, what happened? At this noise, a stern man came who looked like a swordsman. It was Master Run Gum. He told Zhang Wu that he needed to rest and then be sure to come to training. The rest of the boys continued their training. After the end of the training when the boys were left alone, they decided to teach the new guy a lesson. But at that moment, Jun Myung's fist crashed into Cho Gul's jaw with a sharp sound. Cho Gul flew up to the ceiling from the blow and broke through it, getting stuck there. The rest of the children looked in horror with widened eyes at their friend who was stuck in the ceiling. Thus, Chong Miang raised these boys who were old enough to be his grandchildren. Now he could find out from them what he needed. He asked what happened to the heavenly golden palace and why Hua Shan was in such chaos. The children told him that according to the elders in Hongshan there was a warrior holy sword Plum Blossom who played an important role in the victory over the heavenly demon Chuanma. Of course Myung knew the Plum Blossom Sword Saint Warrior, because it was him. Immediately after this, the heavenly demon sect became enraged for some reason. They reached Hua Shan and burned it. Because of the damage caused then, Hua Shan still has not regained its former greatness and Young Myung understands that the reason why the school fell into disrepair is himself. In the morning Zhang Myung came to training and saw that the boys were training with swords. Sharp swings of the blades cut through the air and the teacher said that the technique that older children practice is called the sword balance technique. Jun Myung was surprised. This technique was very complex. Teaching it to children is like teaching them the alphabet by forcing them to read a difficult book. Jun Myung realized that the unique teaching at the Huashan school was lost and the children were taught poorly. And no one here has ever heard of the best sword technique, the 24 Plum Blossom Movements. After which Jun Myung decided to start training children. He told Cho Gul to gather the children in front of the White Plum Blossom House tomorrow at 5 a.m. The current Hua Shan has neither technology nor wealth nor talent. No wonder the school collapsed so easily. The only thing he can help with is talent and although the current students are third-rate, a journey of thousands of miles begins with one step. Senior students gathered for training in front of the White Plum Blossom House. Starting today you will train with me every morning Jun Myung told them. The sunrise illuminated the mountain and Huashan school. Master Run Gum woke up and did not see the students who usually came to greet him in the morning. He decided that the children were still sleeping and went to wake them up for training. As soon as he approached the dorm, his eyes opened wide in surprise. The yard was dotted with lying children who were exhausted and dirty, they moaned and called for their mother to take them home. One rookie Jun Myung was doing something strange, there was a stick slung over her shoulders, and large bags hanging from both sides. This is how the ancestors of all martial arts masters trained, and it seemed that the Boya Euro's muscles were getting stronger every second. Ungum considered that such training was too harsh because all the children were very tired, just as they were not tired during the training of their mentor. Ungum gave a stern warning to a beginner because in the house of white plum blossoms there is a strict set of rules and you cannot sacrifice sleep for the sake of training. Chong Myung asked the master to give him just one month and he guarantees that the older guys will show extraordinary results. Ungum wondered where such a boy came from who came and crushed all the older students under himself and, with the help of his authority, teaches others? Ungum gave such permission, saying that he was extremely impressed by the determination of the boys and if they continue this way, they will achieve unprecedented success. Despite the fact that many of the students were not enthusiastic about such training and wanted the master to protect them, Ungum left. A few days later, Jun Myung continued to train his chi and had already achieved great success. He understood a lot about the current Huashan school. The school leaders are too weak and soft-bodied, although they are good people. The students are even weaker, they are all not from warrior families, but from merchant families, but they lack good teachers. But now Chong Myung will do everything in his power to once again revive the power of Hua Shan and its former greatness. The students were so tired during training that they couldn't a euro to even hold their chopsticks while eating, they fell out of their tired hands. 
Some of them were indignant and wanted to stop training, but the two oldest boys, Cho Gul and Yun Young, decided that if such a small boy as Jun Myung could train like that, then they want to try their best to become masters of such a level that the whole world will know. Zhang Myung lies on the branches of a blossoming cherry tree and dreams of how he will be reborn at Huashan School. Suddenly the school gates open and a crowd of angry people enter the school and demand that the school teacher finally return their money. The school mentor greeted those who came very nobly and with dignity. But the main owner of the pavilion, Kong, did not pay attention to this dignity and reminded him of duty. He gave the school seven days to pay off the debt otherwise they will confiscate the Huashan School Temple. The children said that the Huashan school borrowed money from merchants and the main creditor owns a shop in the Huashan village, he is the most influential and most successful merchant there. And this shop belonged to the Huashan school, and the fact that the new owner of this shop volunteered to be the first to borrow money means that all this was planned. Young Myung asked his comrades to bring him special black clothes. And after a few minutes he is all dressed in black clothes that fit tightly to his body. He leaves the temple and rushes to the village to find out what plans the merchants have. In the past, when the Huashan school was famous throughout the world, the village and the relationship with the school played an important role in this. On the top floor of the main store of this village, dozens of merchants gathered, they rejoiced that they had finally issued an ultimatum to the leader of the school. The owner of the shop, Huashan Kong, said that it was unpleasant for him to give such orders in such a place, but the deadline for returning the money had long passed. Further, Merchant Kong said that the value of the Huashan school is greater than one can imagine, many enemies of Huashan will be happy if the school ceases to exist. A school that wants to erase the presence of Huashan from the face of the earth will buy it at a high price to destroy it. And there were already several such schools, so everyone will get their money. Kong's closest advisor walked down the street indulging in rosy thoughts. Suddenly a figure dressed in all black appeared in front of him and an unknown child demanded an explanation from him. What was happening with the Huashan school? However, the advisor had many bodyguards who were ready to kill anyone who got in their way. However, the unknown boy very quickly scattered all the adult men. And the advisor had to tell him that they lend at a high interest rate and if the loan is not repaid, then they take away all the property. While Zhang Mian was finding out all the details, one of the bodyguards attacked him with a sword. This was an experienced fighter who was sure that he would now finish off the impudent boy. But since Chong Mian still had the memories of the noble plum blossom blade, he remembered that if you are not strong enough, just use the anemia euro s strength and the bodyguard flew far to the side. The advisor who was watching this fight suddenly said that he recognized the fighting style. This fighting style is inherent in the Junnan school. Huashan school students gathered in the training hall at dawn, but Zhang Myung was still not there, although students were forbidden to leave school without permission. And then the door opened and Young Myung appeared on the threshold. He told the boys that from today we will not miss a single training session, no matter the snow, no matter the frost, we still want a euro to give ourselves a rest. Before training, Chan thought that simply breaking into the merchants and dealing with them was a bad idea. Otherwise, everyone will think that the Huashan school incited the child to commit a crime. Need a loophole. Proof that all enterprises originally belonged to Huashan, but all documents were lost. And the notes that the former leader of the Huashan school made in a thin book have long disappeared. There was supposed to be a secret vault that only the head of the school had access to, it was only mentioned in a couple of rumors, but it really exists and documents may be hidden there. Most likely the entrance to it is in the house of the head of the school. Most likely the storage should be located next to the house and at the same time not be conspicuous, which perfectly corresponds to the hill behind the house. If only documents are found confirming the right of ownership of the trading pavilions, he will immediately transfer them to the current leader of the school. Even if it is a small hill, searching the entire mountain is not an easy task. But when you use the energy of your inner chi, you know that if the energy collides with a large empty space, this will be the storage, thought Zhang Myung. Several times he tried to find an empty space and finally he succeeded. Now we need to dig it up and Chan got to work. A few hours later he found a corridor lined with bricks leading to a strange dungeon. To his surprise, he saw his current mentor there, the head of the Huangshir school, who was walking along this corridor straight to the door. 
The head of the school stood near the crack door and Jun Myung realized that his mentor could not open the door and was in despair because he could do nothing but watch as the school collapsed. Seeing how Hua Shan to which you dedicated your life is collapsing and being unable to do anything, Chan feels in his heart. But the leader cannot share this with anyone. After all, he must become a support for his students and therefore he is left alone with his pain and sadness. The abbot has left and Junlian sneaks into the corridor in front of the door. He needs to open the door and he tries to pour his energy into it so that the door opens, but the door reflects the energy and does not absorb it. Is this really thousand-year-old iron and even as thick as an arm? This is the most valuable metal, even more expensive than gold, only the strongest warriors can cut such a door. Now Ida Euro S clear why the head of the school did not have the courage to open it. The problem is that he also cannot open this door, he does not have enough strength or skill. But he remembers that in the past there the school leader calmly walked inside. So there is a way to open this door and what is this strange design on the door? This is the line from the sword. The sword mark is very similar to the plum blossom style and this craftsmanship is bamboo foliage. And this is the principle of six interactions. The picture is starting to emerge. This is the key to the techniques that will help open the door. By combining the mastery of bamboo six interactions and 24 palms, you will unleash the true power of the plum blossom sword style. This was the way to open the door. How could this be done? In a past life, there would have been no problems. But now Jun Myung has the body of an ordinary teenager and although the technique is preserved in his memory, but this body does not have enough energy to implement all these stages at once. You can only do this using your energy, but then you will have to recover for a whole month. Circulation of natural chi, the force that supports life in a person from birth, in other words, vital energy, I use it. You must be prepared to pay a high price. However, now there is no other choice. Despite the fact that he had to be reborn in a body that he was not used to, there will be no second chance, it is very difficult for him. The body and mind are already at their limit and the movement is still too slow. However, he cannot retreat. Of six interactions into bamboo mastery. Next 24 palms of plum blossom without breaking the connection for a second. Terrible pain pierced Jun Myung, his face was flushed and burning, he bit his lip until it bled and continued to move. Even if it doesna euro t open after that it will be a complete disaster. And suddenly a grinding sound was heard and the door, which was made of thousand-year-old iron, opened slightly, much to the boy a Euro's surprise. Jun Myung felt very bad, it seemed that his body was more damaged than he expected and he would have to rest for at least two months for all his injuries to recover. But he gathered all the strength he had left and pushed the door that had not been opened for a century. Chan entered a small storage room with only three bookcases. Chan found the school's accounting books, which contained all the documentation. And the books in which the forgotten teachings of the almost lost schools of Huashan were kept. Which the senior leader of the school hid so that they would not be passed on to the next generation. In the third cabinet there was only one scroll. It was written by the rector of the school and said that if someone reads this text, it means he has been approved by the head of the new generation. The letter contained instructions to the new leader that the main children in the school are those who strive to become the best, and the leader must play the role of a guide and protect them. Huashan is an energy that no one has the power to curb and use at will. Even experiencing a new dawn, Huashan will continue to exist. Young Myung was not interested in the instructions of the wise leader, but thought that there should be a cache in the vault that could contain gold. He moved the empty cabinet which was very easy for him to do in the body of a little boy. And saw a small hole that even he would have difficulty getting through. When he squeezed through this hole, his eyes opened wide and his heart began to pound in front of him, there was happiness gold bars tightly stacked on top of each other. Precious swords neatly placed against the wall. And even a mountain of riches, precious stones. Chang Myung's joy knew no bounds, he never stopped laughing and this was the moment when the fate of Huashan firmly passed into the hands of one person. For the current abbot of the Huashan school, a joyless morning has come, for someone, this day will bring joy. But for him, he is full of despair because there are only five days left until the time given by Merchant Kong. 
But then there was a loud knock on the door and an excited gum appeared on the threshold, who said that an incredible event had happened and the abbot should see everything with his own eyes. An gum moved very quickly, Hyun Jun kept up with him despite his age. In the forest the school leader noticed the children lying exhausted and the coach explained to them that they train on their own in the morning. In the forest, they met young Myung, who seemed very tired, but happy. He showed the abbot his discovery, a huge bag of gold bars, a chest of books, these were account books. Jun Myung explained that he accidentally found such a treasure, he was just lucky. And so as not to be asked many questions, he pretended that he was going to lose consciousness due to hard training. The good abbot immediately released him to rest. Sparkling mountains of gold before your eyes. But the most important thing is the accounting books in which it was written down what the Huashan school owned in the village under the mountain. In addition, the ancient books of the seven postulates of the wild plum sword, which the abbot was afraid to touch, they were so ancient and the value of which made the abbot feel bad. Hyun Jun had to look into everything and make sure that the items were genuine and the head of the finance department confirmed their authenticity. All these were government certificates that could be proof and the Huashan school could return all the enterprises of the village, and all these treasures would more than cover the debt. Hyun Jun felt a weight lift off his shoulders from such happy news. Who knew that one child who planned to change our hearts would lift us from our knees, he became a lucky ticket for Huashan. And now the abbot of the Huashan school cried out, let everyone who was listed in the accounting books of the village enterprises come. A few days later a large crowd of traders was climbing the steep cliff. Just a little bit left to Huashan. We need to be patient, Kong encouraged everyone. All the merchants thought that the abbot of the school had either prepared money or they would become the owners of the best buildings in Huashan. Although the merchants warmly treated the heritage of Huashan, which had stood guard over the village for centuries, they came to shake off the debt and extortionate interest and nothing could stop them. The school's abbot, Hyun Jun, came out to meet them and apologized for forcing such important people to climb the mountain. Traders said that they would prefer to resolve pressing issues over empty talk. And Hyun Jun told them that he had been looking for any opportunity to pay them off the debt for a long time, but unfortunately he couldn't a euro t return the money on time. Humbly bowing, the abbot asked for help to Huashan and asked if there was anyone among those present who was ready to wait a little longer to repay the debt. The traders flatly refused. Their main representative said that he could no longer delay the payment date. And then Hyun Jun turned to each merchant individually, each of you should receive a different amount. Therefore, I am appealing to those who are ready to postpone their payment date. The Huashan school may not be the same as in the old days, but this does not mean that we have no one to lend a helping hand. I was not able to collect the entire amount, but I still prepared part of it. Therefore, I turn to you with a request that Hua Shan will definitely thank everyone who comes into our position today. Kong laughed at the suggestion. Other merchants also began to ask if we trust you and postpone the payment date, does this mean that we may be left without money at all? Name Hua Shan, history Hua Shan isn't this enough for you? Asked the abbot, which made Kong laugh. Meanwhile, the abbot asked the rest of the merchants. What does Hua Shan mean to you? Does the name, the story have no value for you? The school may be in decline now, but Hua Shan has always been continuously connected with the village. Together with her, she shared her soul and energy, and I want you all here now to think about what Hua Shan is for him. Then Kong spoke and suggested that everyone who agrees to delay the payment date should come to the other side, and those who do not agree and want to receive the money today should remain where they are. However, responsibility for the decision lies only with the merchants themselves, and let them not expect that the trade alliance will come to their defense if they are left without money. It's time to make a choice. One of the merchants, exactly the one with whom Jun Myung spoke at night a few days ago, moved away from the entire group and stood aside. He said that some of the traders came from afar and did not understand what Huashan meant for the village in the village they all grew up hearing stories about the school. As a child, he was told that you will enter Huashan and become a great master, and even after learning that he did not have a drop of talent to get into school, he grew up surrounded by stories about how Huashan stood guard over peace in Shinshi. His father and grandfather were also brought up this way, because Huashan is the pride of Shinshi and their village. 
Once you receive the money, you will simply leave here. And I'll stay here. And even if I don't a euro t get this money, I a euro ll still be able to live. Maybe I regret that I didn't a euro t take it then, but if I destroy wash on brick by brick, I a euro ll regret being surrounded by useless money until my death. A whole group of merchants after these words stepped aside and made it clear that they would not demand the debt immediately. It's nice to know that there are still those who honor the school. Said the abbot and ordered an gum to bring books. The sight of the accounting books of Huayin County, to which the village belonged, horrified Kong. Based on the accounting books, Huashan will confiscate all the enterprises that you manage. And also all their acquired property, the voice of an angry abbot thundered. How? What does all of this mean? What confiscation? Abbot, your joke has gone too far. Shouted the indignant traders trying to sort through the books. They shouted that the books were fake and, although they did not directly accuse Hua Shan of falsifying material evidence, they assumed that the abbot himself was misled. But then the head of the finance pavilion spoke and said that two days ago he sent half of the accounting books to the Hoa'in government and now they are being confirmed for authenticity. For his part, he assures that the books are genuine and verification is needed to officially establish this fact. Kong realized that everything was lost and that a government army would be waiting for them at the foot of the mountain, prepared to confiscate their property. He began to be indignant and demand justice, but the rector of the school cut him off and said that you have no right to open your mouths because you pushed away the hand of a close friend who was in trouble and also stuck a knife in his back and you are no longer worthy to be called friends. He ordered the merchants as soon as they returned to the village, take only one cart with property and get out. Kong promised that he would not remain in debt and would take revenge. The abbot made a speech to the same merchants who agreed to wait with the debt and did not lose their humanity and said that Hua Shan would return everything that had been lost to them. But all people will continue to operate local businesses and make a profit. Traders carried their carts filled with property along the road leading from the village. When they descended from the mountain, their enterprises were already surrounded by government troops. Now the merchants reproached Kong that it was he who was to blame for their current plight, if they had agreed to the proposal of the headmaster of the school, then they would not have had to leave the village. And then a figure in black appeared in front of them. The unknown robber said that he was going to reclaim everything that rightfully belonged to him, but Kong and other merchants had bodyguards who rushed towards the robber. The first warrior who rushed forward was struck by a powerful blow. And the rest scattered to the sides, unable to resist the combat skill of the one they attacked. Zhang Mian put his sword on his shoulder, he was weakened, his energy had not yet recovered and this fight was too difficult for him. Then Kong told him that since ancient times, everyone who did not listen to him was defeated, and today he will kill Chong Myung. With these words, traitor Kong prepared for battle. Although Kong wasn't exactly a warrior, he was still a strong martial artist. Chan realized that Kong was not like a simple shop owner in a provincial county. However, the first blow with his fist that Kong delivered was blocked by his sword. Chan blocked any movement of Kong. The energy that Chan put into his hand to strike did not find a way out and went back. Kong, seething with pain and rage, gathered all his energy to destroy his opponent and delivered a powerful kick. However, the masked man took a slight step back and disappeared. Chan skillfully directed the anemia Euroist forces where he wanted and no matter how hard Kong tried, he could not touch even his clothes, there was nothing superfluous in his movements, he calculated every step of the enemy and Kong could not even imagine how strong his opponent was. But Zhang Mian's strength was leaving him, and he asked Kong why a man with such fighting skills was just a simple shop owner in the village. Kong didn't a Euro T answer anything and Zhang Mian went on the attack, his sword hit Kango a Euroist shoulder, his knee and was now aiming for the head. Strong blows rained down on the Kanga from all sides, which he no longer had time to reflect. In desperation, Kong used a technique that Zhang Miyang immediately recognized as the palm of Lord Tai. What a coincidence! The man selling in a shop in a village who forced the merchants to entangle Hua Shan in debt happens to know the martial arts of the Zhang Nan school. Kong made a fatal mistake, he got confused and used this technique that he shouldn't have used. The Zhongnan school was very strong. For a long time, hostility arose between her and Hua Shan, 
but the Jiangnan school rightfully occupies a place among the nine great schools. And it is unlikely that a powerful school will decide matters in this way. But how have morals changed in 100 years, that now great schools compete with others not in exploits, but in wealth? Kong replied that Hua Shan no longer has hope. And it will never be the same again because it has lost its secret technique, the only question is whether it will collapse now or stand a little longer. Young Miyung put a sword to Kong's throat. And ordered to tell the bastards who sent him that when plum flowers bloom in the snow, they emit the thickest aroma. It may be winter, but Washana Euro's century has not yet come to an end. And soon, with the arrival of spring, plum flowers will decorate the whole mountain. And suddenly a miracle happened. Merchant Kong saw thousands of plum petals showering on his head, and he realized that this was the 24 plum blossom sword style. The rain of fallen petals is an illusion. Kong fell to the ground unconscious. The plum blossom petals covering the sky disappeared like a mirage. And Chongmin, losing his last strength, approached the remaining merchants. The merchants saw how Jiangmian dealt with Kong and so they agreed to leave and leave all their property. Well, they could na Euro tea just escape because he offered them to buy their property from him. The traders realized that they were talking to a psycho who could beat them and decided to agree to everything he offered. Zhang Miyung happily counted the money and ran to Huashan School to catch the evening training. Cho Gul took off his uniform and wrung it out. She was wet with sweat. Today's training left all the boys exhausted. They washed themselves in the mountain stream and washed their clothes there. Just recently they could na Euro tea even think that they would train. Previously, they went down the mountain to fulfill the minimum requirement and immediately returned home. But lately Cho Gul has increasingly begun to catch himself thinking that something has changed and the brat Young Myung is to blame. Even if now Ida Euro is just a weak breeze, no one knows whether it will remain just a light breeze or turn into a typhoon that will turn the entire existence of Hua Shan upside down. However, it will definitely bear fruit in the distant future. In the schoolyard the boys saw many people commanded by M Gun. Many carts with luggage and bags filled the entire schoolyard. The coach explained to the boys that the school teachers decided to take the chance and carry out major renovations because the school buildings are very old. Why are you frozen? The coach turned to his students. Go help the workers. The boys reluctantly set to work. In the evening Cho Gul and his comrades looked at the dinner table in surprise. In Huashan there was no ban on eating meat, but the lack of money did not allow feeding students meat and for the first time the tables were full of meat food. The boys pounced on the food, their chopsticks flashed, throwing delicious food into their mouths. Yes, this happens once in a lifetime, said Cho Gul to his comrade. Repairs have begun, meat is on the table, and two sets of new uniforms have appeared. I myself saw the junior mentor smile so happily for the first time, I thought he didn't a Euro tea know how to smile. Huashan is changing at the speed of light, we need to be ready for rapid changes, Theta Euroes, what the boys said while walking around the yard. At this time, the school's mentor, Hian Jun, invited Young Myung to his place to thank him for everything he did for the school. He offered him money but Zhang Myung didn't a Euro T need the money. The only thing he asked his mentor for was permission to go down to Huayin village whenever he wanted, he hoped that when he gained freedom and increased his range of movement, he would have more opportunities. But this was contrary to the discipline of the Huashan school and could cause discontent among other students, so the teacher did not approve of this choice. Then Young Myung asked the boss for Huashan vitality pills because the doctor who examined Young Myung said that the boy a Euro SG was damaged. At the same moment, Hyun Zhang said that from now on, the Huashan student Chong Myung is the only one allowed to go down to Huayin village. After which Chong Myung was sent for a walk with the parting words that if he did something wrong in the village, he would not be able to escape responsibility. And the solution was simple. Even the abbot didn't a Euro T have such pills, so he couldn't a Euro T give them to the boy. All the teachers spoke very highly of Jung Mayan. Un Gum said that he did not feel that he was talking to a child, and the child seemed like an adult man, he had deep thoughts and there was nothing childish about him. The abbot summed up their conversation. As you can see, he is still a child and we do not use people, but guide them on the path. If he is an uncut diamond, 
then we will help him unlock his potential. And if there are problems, they can be solved by guiding him on the right path. Now the main thing is to avoid negligence and teach students new techniques found in old books. The fate of Hua Shan depends on how students learn them. But one of the teachers thought that the hundred-year-old secret teachings looked too much like new, in some places there were even traces of ink, as if they were written in a hurry. What if this is someone's evil plan? Or maybe someone is helping Hua Shan and hiding their identity, but who? Who could it be? Of course, Cheng Miyung, who diligently rewrote military equipment textbooks taking into account all his knowledge. He hoped that thanks to this, famous warriors would start sending their children to school. Jun Miyung was very angry that his mentor did not give him the vitality pill. Not only did they lose money, but they also lost the recipes for all the elixirs, he was indignant. And Chong Myung Bayuro's health situation was serious. His body did not recover because the child could not use his internal chi as an adult could. At this rate, he will have to recover for at least six months, and in six months he could die. It is too risky for a child to interrupt training for six months, the body grows and changes. This is the most favorable time for the formation of internal energy. If you miss it there won't be a second chance. A hundred years ago in Huashan there were excellent life restoration pills. Adult John Leung took these hangover pills and they helped him very well. And suddenly a thought struck young Myung, he remembered something very important. And ran as fast as he could towards the Donchan Rock. Which was near the school. Among the five sacred mountains, Scala Donchan is the highest and most dangerous. And in the middle of the cliff, the edge of which is not even visible, there is a secret place. In the center of the cliff there is a cave that cannot be found unless you climb there yourself so it is better than the place of the Abata Euroas hidden eye and cannot be found. There John Myung could get drunk, sleep while the elder was not looking, and there he hid the pills that helped him so well from a hangover 100 years ago. Training on the Donchan Rock was prohibited not only because of its height. Her name means steep cliff. There is nothing to grab onto and nowhere to put your foot. In other words, these are unusually smooth walls and a cliff that is almost impossible for a child to climb. At great risk to life and using the remnants of my chi internal vital energy, I managed to reach the entrance to the cave. But then something happened that no one expected, the rope that belayed the chan broke and the chan flew into the abyss. He again had to use his life energy to try to grab onto the rock. The bones that were overloaded broke, his wrists could not bear the weight and also broke. With incredible efforts, almost losing consciousness and having lost the last drop of his vital energy, John Myung climbed into the cave. All the things that he brought here a hundred years ago stood untouched. And so he opened the treasured box, first carefully blowing off the dust from it. As soon as the box was opened, the bright aroma of plum blossoms filled the air. As if Chung Mayan found himself in a garden of plum trees in the midst of blossoming. Is it really a snow plum pill? They are several times more expensive than plum blossom pills. He completely forgot what he hid here. Now it's time to heal. One snow plum pill immediately melts in the mouth, enveloping the whole body with the purest aroma. But it was not enough to just eat the pill, the power will increase only if the vital force from the pill is correctly distributed throughout the body, and children do not know how to properly manage their vital energy. Vital energy circulated through his body gradually. Dissipating streams of energy from the tablet mixed with the energy of his body. In an instant everything changed. Chong Myung, who was sitting in the lotus position, began to float in the air. Pure transparent vital energy enveloped his entire body. Wounds and broken bones healed in the blink of an eye. But all this could not be combined with the Childe Euro's body, the life force was rushing around inside Young Myung Euro's body. But Young Myung was able to neutralize this energy and direct it in his direction. After which he returned to his normal state and stopped floating in the air. All the vital points were completely revealed, fortunately even the young body was able to withstand it. A little more and he would have lost his mind and said goodbye to life. Only thanks to what he was taught a hundred years ago at the Huashan school, he miraculously escaped tragedy. Summing up, this body became stronger and he remembered the words of the teacher, which seemed like sheer nonsense, 
but now took on a different meaning. The warrior will take control and direct, and those who follow the path of Taoism, that is, wisdom, will leave everything as it is. Jiang Mayan was a swordsman and not a sage, but Hua Shan follows both the path of the sword and the path of wisdom. Will someone like him be able to revive Hua Shan? Young Miang took the miracle pills and ran back to school completely healthy. School children were gathering in the yard of Hua Shan for morning training and they were talking about how Young Miang had been looking very bad lately and maybe the training would end soon. However, Jun Miang appeared in full health and apologized for not training with his students too much during his illness. Now there will be more training and they will be more difficult, for example, obstacle course. Running along a high cliff that seems impossible to climb. Zhang Miang thought that countless warriors single-handedly achieved the title of the strongest in the world. But if among the followers of a school there is only one who is worthy of recognition, he will not be able to glorify the name of the entire school. For the revival of the school, everyone must become stronger. After such training, all the boys could not stand on their feet and fell right in the yard. Every day the training becomes tougher and the body may not be able to withstand such stress, the boys complained. Jun Myung promised them to hold on a little longer and if nothing changes over time then we will talk. Everyone happily agreed to this. In the morning, Coach and Gum, while leading the boys' morning training, noticed that something had changed. The children's sword technique has become stable, they make the same attacks, but their sharpness and confidence have changed and strength is felt in every step. The body also keeps balance three balls, gain weight, the fire of hard training burns in the eyes. At this time, the abbot approached Dungam and showed him one of the books that was found when the coach read what was written there. He was very surprised. It was a book about the balance technique of the six fundamental techniques of Hua Shan. However, it was later replaced by the true equilibrium of six. The book was written that there is nothing wrong with developing and transforming the Hua Shan martial arts, but the balance of the six is the basis and you cannot transform or change the balance of the six. An Gam sighed and answered the abbot that the balance of six is a very slow way of learning and time has changed, so the techniques may also change. The abbot objected that to balance the six, one needs stability in the legs and seriousness of intentions, and one has only to glance at the students and it is immediately clear that they have these qualities. Then the coach asked Young Myung whether he preferred taking slow steps to the very top or fast steps and getting instant results. Zhang Myung was picking his nose at this time, but immediately answered. Which, of course, to the very top, because unshakable confidence in Hua Shan, a piece of the lost past sounded from the lips of a child. Abbot Hyun Zhong ordered to change the basic Hua Shan technique from the blade of the true principle to six interactions and revise the entire teaching of Hua Shan. These children are the future of the school. Maybe this will not happen in our lifetime. But for now these children do not give up. Hua Shan's biggest problem was resolved, but there were still many problems that Chong Myung did not know how to solve. From a conversation with Cho Gul, he realized that mentors and teachers do not know how to do business and there are not enough workers in Hua Shan. Cho Gul said that if the most influential merchant, Mr. Huang, would take up farming, there would be no problems. But Mr. Huang has been bedridden for a year due to illness. At this time, Ko Chen Gum sends to take the Abata Euro S letter to the finance pavilion, the farthest house of the school. A letter from the Milky Way Guild, which was controlled by Mr. Huang. Of course, Young Myung could na Euro T resist and open the letter to find out what was written there, he did na Euro T feel any remorse about it. The letter was from Mr. Huang's son, who said that his father's health was deteriorating day by day and other symptoms began to appear, his pulse was jumping like crazy, his body was turning red. He is unconscious and cannot move and has a black mark on the bridge of his nose. When Young Myung read about these symptoms he was horrified. He recognized these symptoms that ordinary doctors cannot cure. This is the devil's flower. Symptoms similar to poisoning with a strong poison. However, the symptoms of the devil flower appear under the influence of a special technique of the demonic sect, the legacy of which is passed on even after 100 years. The problem is not only that these bastards are alive, but their school hates Hua Shan and most likely something is planned there. Young Myung decides that only he can understand what is happening to Mr. Huang. In addition, there is a very large reward for the cure. 
Comrades find a letter on Shona Euro's bed asking them to come up with some kind of excuse for him because he will be gone for a couple of days. And Young Myun covers the distance to the city with incredible speed. And now he Euro's already in a place he has na Euro t been to for 100 years and used to visit it very often, the city of Sia Euroan. This is where the Junin school is located, which was the sworn enemy of the Huashan school. A great school that neighbors each other initially cannot have good relations, and at the moment when the question was raised, who is stronger, us or them, there was nothing left but to draw the blade. At this time in the house of Mr. Huang, none of the doctors, even the masters of the Tang family, nicknamed the suppressor of poisons, could cure the patient. The doctors said that this was not poisoning and that the reason lay elsewhere, which they themselves did not understand. Mr. Huang's son was very sad every day, his father was getting worse and even a lot of money did not help. All his life he worked hard for the sake of the poor and is now dying of an unknown disease. This is very cruel. The elder of the Junin school, Ki Mok Si, proposed a ritual that is performed for serious illnesses. Mr. Huang's son did not want to perform any rituals because he understood that this was ignorance, but he could not refuse the elder of the Junin school. Junin was famous in the past as one of the nine great schools, but recently its name has been thundering throughout the world as a synonym for the phrase invincible force. Since ancient times, Junin has had a strong influence on the city of Xi'an, and if the elder himself gives advice, even a very rich person cannot reject it. At this moment, the servant says that a man from Huashan is waiting for Mr. Wang de Euro's son. Mr. Huang's son John goes to the gate to meet the delegation from Huashan. To his surprise, there is a little boy standing at the gate. He says that he knows a way to cure Mr. Huang and asks to take him to the patient. In addition, he does not mind receiving the huge reward that the Milky Way Guild promised for curing their boss. Of course, John Gai Doesna Euro T believed the child and is going to leave. But Chan politely says that he has some guesses about the symptoms indicated in the letter. The Huang family visited countless doctors, but none of them had any idea what these symptoms meant. Therefore, despite the anger of the abbot of the Junin school, who wanted to immediately throw out this impudent youth. He decides to take the boy to his sick father's room. An emaciated and emaciated man lies on the bed. Symptoms, marks, pens, devil's flower, but the technique was done incorrectly, so the patient lasted a whole year. Chong Myung took the patient's hand and realized that the treatment would not be very effective. Mr. Huang's son was very surprised by this, because the most famous doctors could not do anything. First of all, Jun Myung decided to have breakfast and stuffed his mouth with fried chicken and rice. Then he asked Shunga, who, accompanied by his father, was very close to him, accompanied him everywhere and who would never be suspected, no matter what happened. Shunga said that the father had many helpers. And then he named five people who fit the description. Zhang Mian reasoned like this, judging by the condition, someone who did not skillfully use the demonic technique was constantly pouring demonic power into Mr. Huang. And this could only be done by someone close to him. At the Junin school, its head rushed about in rage, because not only did the Haoshan child enter Xi'an with all honors, but he also called him like that bastard. Which in his youth Ki Mok say often challenges to a duel and could never win the noble blade of the plum blossom Zhang Mian. Second-generation student of Junin school Lee Song Baek. I thought that since the noble blade of the plum blossom was killed, but his style and his feet are on every Yonia Euro's lips. How great was this man! What the head of the Junin school was most afraid of was what if the boy from the Huashan school cured Mr. Huang. To Huan will do his best to help Huashan. Then Junin's students suggested that the teacher challenge Chung Myung to a duel. After all, everyone knows that Junin and Huashan have long passed unexperienced to each other in battle. The rector said that by injuring this child, you will harm the prestige of the school, but I take note that you stand your ground and are not afraid of anything if one of you makes a mistake and uses excessive force. I will personally punish the one who touches this child, the abbot said out loud, and thought to himself, with a huge reward in addition. Young school students approached the gate of Mr. Huang's house and the peculiarity was that a boy was walking in front of the gate. Mockingly, the young people asked the boy to show them fighting techniques at the Huashan school. Good just don't a euro tea regret it later, okay?
accepted the challenge of fighter Zheng Mian. Junin follower Li Songbek called on Huashan disciple Chong Myung to draw his sword. The official challenge to fight sounds so loud. But the little boy was not armed. So that the Junin would not be reproached for attacking defenseless children, they were forced to arm their young rival. Jun Myung put his sword on his shoulder and waited for action from his opponents. He didn't even take his sword out of its sheath. At the Junan school, he practiced a serious and direct blow at the Southern Region Sword School. The heavy sword hit Jun Mian's neck, but he slightly raised the sword and blocked it like this. Fast and strong, Li Sun Bek swung his sword again, this time aiming for Zhang Myung's stomach. And again Chun Men blocked the attack, but took a step back. No matter how hard Li Songbek tried, he could not reach his opponent with his sword, the boy blocked each of his blows. And even the inevitable blow delivered from all sides by the master who beat Li Sunbek was reflected to a junior student of the Huashan school. This cannot be true, but he repelled all the blows of the sword recognized as the best in the entire Junin school. Blade directed forward learned to cut the whole world and the technique of 36 swords of heaven. All applications were choked when they encountered a blockage. Li Sunbeck put all his strength into the last blow and suddenly the boy Euro's body flew far away. Blood gushed from his mouth and he fell motionless to the ground. At this time John Guy came out of the house and became furious at what he saw. Zhang Myung was carried into the room by servants to provide him with the necessary assistance. And all representatives of the Junin school were kicked out of the guild by John Ji. The doctors examined Young Myung and said that, despite the fact that the wound was serious, his life was not in danger. John G.I. really hoped that the boy could cure him, because none of his father a Euro's doctors could say what kind of disease his father had, but the young student did not even need to examine Mr. Huang to name the symptoms of the disease. On a dark night, someone was quietly making its way through the corridors of Mr. Wang a Euro's house and a vague figure entered the room where Young Myung lay unconscious. The unknown person whispered that he did not hate the boy, this was just payment for interfering in his affairs and extended his hands, with the spells of the devil a Euro's finger, and wanted to touch the chilled a Euro's chest. And at this time, the poisoner's hand was intercepted. Young Myung held his hand tightly, which tried to kill him. But the enemy was strong and it is difficult for a little boy to defeat an adult man. The curse is about to overtake Young Myung and nothing can save him. At that moment the door opened and John Guy and the servants appeared on the threshold. Much to John G.I.'s surprise, the criminal turned out to be the one who was increasingly trusted by Mr. Huang's general manager and assistant, Jabak. And then Chong Myung Euro's plan became clear, if the one who can cure Mr. Huang pretends to be sick, then the criminal will definitely come to kill him, and the blame could be blamed on the Junin school. The general leader justified himself as best he could and assured that the boy sorcerer and his destruction would only bring benefit. At this time, young Myung jumped on the villain. His hand began to emit a blinding light and he aimed a blow at the criminal's head. Arms crossed and suddenly Jung Myung's hand turned red. It was a demonic hand and an ordinary person could not withstand a single blow and would die immediately. But the opponent was a man who had never studied martial arts and therefore his blow was not so deadly. The general manager's anger was so great that he could not cope with it because he had almost finished his dirty deed. In the midst of the battle, a student of the Junin school appeared in the guild yard who wanted to apologize for his action. A child and ordinary merchants would not be able to stop the angry manager whose victory slipped through his fingers, but an adult young man and an experienced fighter could well do it. Lee Sangbeck was sure that his opponent would not last long, but he fought for more than an hour trying to knock him down. A student from the replaced clan could not allow himself to be defeated by someone who had not really mastered the martial art. And finally, with incredible efforts, the villain was defeated, and Sandbeck barely breathed after such a difficult battle. So, with a problem that lasted for more than a year, Young Myung sorted it out in two days, thought Zhang Ji. If everything was so simple, then why until now not a single person has even guessed about the existence of a traitor, his closest ally and assistant? It feels like there is a wise old master hidden in this child. All that remains is to cure Mr. Huan and then the affairs in the city are over, thought Zhang Myung. But he had no self-confidence, 
he could not say for sure whether it was possible to cure the patient. After all, now he is just a boy and not a noble plum blossom blade, and one careless movement can cause a surge of demonic energy and the weakened person will die immediately. And yet, Zhang Miyang began treatment at his own peril and risk. Pure and bright life energy rushed into Mr. Huang's body, which was filled with demonic energy. Demonic energy filled Mr. Huang's entire body and Yang Miyang was not sure if he had enough energy to dispel these black forces. From the flow of light energy the demonic one shattered into pieces. And the patienta Euro's body gradually brightened and acquired a healthy appearance. Since Mr. Huang was virtuous for a very long time and helped the poor and disadvantaged, his body could resist demonic energy. And then the demonic energy burst out of Mr. Wana Euro's body and rushed in an endless stream straight into Young Myunga Euro's body. Now Jung Myan was infected and every part of his body turned into a battlefield. Due to his very young body, he might not last long in this battle. Therefore, he had to engage in battle again with demonic energy. Demonic energy attacked the body at many points. But every time Young Myung repelled these attacks with his pure vital energy. If the battle drags on, then eventually the little child Euro's energy will not be enough and demonic entities will devour his body. Finally managed to destroy the devilish monsters with a large burst of energy. Finally his body was cleared of demon spawn. And at the same time Mr. Huang woke up and looked much better than before the healing session. After Mr. Huang regained consciousness, the Milky Way Trade Guild quickly put its affairs in order. If John Myung hadn't appeared, the villainous general manager's plan would have been carried out and the entire Huang clan would have lost their lives. In the meantime, this scoundrel would have taken over all their property because it turned out that the general manager was the son of the merchant with whom Mr. Wang De Euro's father competed. The source of the devil's hand for the criminal was that he took secret teachings from a dead man whom he accidentally found deep in the mountains during a trading expedition. So the demonic sect is not involved here and you can breathe freely. Thanks to all this, Young Myung became a benefactor of the Milky Way Guild and was treated as an honored guest. And now Mr. Huang himself came to visit his savior. Young swordsman, he turned to the boy, I came to you in the hope that you will fulfill my request. First of all, Mr. Huang continued. Please accept my gratitude for saving my life. Mr. Huang promised to limit the agreement with the Junin school and give a huge reward to the Huashan school. But his son Zhang Jie feared that Junin was the ruler of Xian and an influential school in Xingxi and it was too dangerous to cooperate with Huashan, which is so far from us and in great decline. The boy will already receive a big reward. But no matter what, Ida Euro is too dangerous to strengthen ties with Huashan while collaborating with Junin. The son asked his father to consider his decision and maintain at least the previous terms of the agreement with Jinan. Mr. Huang reminded his son that the main duty of a merchant is to make money. And sometimes a merchant strives to make money even by following the laws and moral norms. In the affairs of a merchant there is no sense of virtue, only efficiency. He is going to benefit from the collapsing Huashan school. Find value in what others don't a euro t notice or consider unworthy and invest. Be it a school or another trade guild, this is how Mr. Huang turned the Milky Way into the best trade guild in Xinxi. And Mr. Huang will not wait for Hua Shan to rise from his knees, he himself contributes to this. Mr. Huang said all my life, I lived as a merchant, on my way I met countless large master merchants, but this child is the only one who could confuse me and make me admire. Thus, having ulterior motives, father and son Huang decided to raise the Huashan school. Meanwhile, Chong Myung lay carefree in the sun and indulged in wonderful thoughts about the future of the Huashan school.